which means only one thing I'm doing an updated what's in my bag video I've had so many people request this um, and up until a few months ago I still had the exact same bag as I had originally like five, six years ago <laughs> but I got a new bag so I can do an updated video so this is my bag it's very noisy it is by Jasper Conrad which I believe is um, Debenhams and it is a lovely big bag so I don't really use a bag day to day um, if I go out shopping this doesn't come with me I will show you what I take out when I go out shopping this is kind of my carry-all when I go to do certain shifts so much stuff in here. I'll start with what's in the front of my bag. I specifically like this bag because it has so many yellow pockets and things. So in the front I won't show you what's in here just because that's personal details and things and phone numbers but I have information that I need about certain jobs um, and I always carry pens with me because every time I'm at work on a comedy show somebody will ask for a pen or I will need a pen to sign something and this fits perfectly in this pocket and you can't even see it inside it's just a magnetic snap it's got two main pockets top and the bottom and then a zipped part in the middle it also has a small zipped part at the back and then a small just at the front there. This is my little contraption to always find my keys. I constantly lose my keys in my bag. So on my keys I have what they're called, I don't know. I've lost what they're called, just like a little keyring with a thing on and in my bag I've got the same but I've got this extendable keyring so if I ever need to clip my keys off I can but I clip them straight back in there so when I'm rummaging around I can just look for the zip and get my keys immediately and the good thing about this is I don't need, usually need to take them off because whenever I need my keys I'll just pull them out of my bag pull whichever key I want to open my door and then let them go and it goes straight back into my bag so I always know where my keys are so the back part this bag. This is my little electronics bag. This bag was just, I think a cable came in this. Like we ordered a cable from Amazon and this was a plastic ziplock bag that it came in. So in it I have my headphones 
Um, I like these because I like the Buddha style. I don't think I'd ever trust myself with with air buds. I think they'd fall out. I need some sort of way to secure them to me. So these have been perfect. These ones I'm wearing now used to work, but I now need an adapter on my phone because I'm with Apple. And whenever I used to go shopping, I would always catch this on maybe the handle of the trolley or on my knee and it would constantly be ripped out my ears. So I have switched over to um, Bluetooth headphones and I much, much prefer them. I have a power bank. Whenever I'm going somewhere, I will always make sure this is fully charged up. That is the cable for my headphones. So if I'm out and about, I can just plug them into my power bank and charge them up. My iPhone plug. Uh, I've got a couple of similar USB plugs around the house, so I always keep this one in here. So if I'm out and I need a charge, I've got that. And when I leave... When I leave the house, I will always put my iPhone cable in. Now my iPhone cable is currently plugged in under my computer. Um, but wherever I'm going somewhere, I'll grab that before I go. I put it in this little pouch. And this stops everything getting tangled up. I know where it all is. And at a quick glance. I can see if I'm missing something. And it just slides nicely right in there. I am a big fan and always have been a fan of compartmentalising everything. Uh, I think it's just way easier to find stuff. In that side again, I have a hanky. Um, I have been using cotton handkerchiefs for years now. I have a permanently runny nose. I think it's allergies, but I'm not sure what allergy it is. I think it's some sort of food I eat. Um, but I started just swapping over to cotton hankies and they last a lot longer, I can just throw them in the wash, they're brilliant, so that's on that side. And then a book. This is my workbook. So I've got lots of comedy, admin work, uh, little notes for meetings if I meet my friend and we discuss some stuff. I will write it in this book. My mum got me this for Christmas. And it's lovely and beveled on the front. And then that is everything that's in that side in the zip. inside the little zip pocket. Usually I have my phone, but at the moment I've been carrying my glasses around because it's been very sunny. I've got a couple of pair of glasses in the car for driving and then I will take these for if I'm out and about walking. I don't have a case for them. They weren't expensive. I think I got them from Ale Hop when I went to... No, it was Portugal. Um, I love ale hop stores and I got these. They look like wood. They're my favourite style of glasses. You've lit glasses. They're really, really smooth, really comfortable. I like the polarised lenses. I like the colour of them. I'm a big fan of sunglasses. However, I'm not a big fan of expensive sunglasses because 
I have a tendency to um, lose them. I did lose a very nice pair of rear bands when I was in Barbados. <laughs> I just left them on a pier and we went pier jumping. We didn't come out the same way we went in and I just left two pairs of sunglasses and a cap. And then it wasn't until the next day we were going by on a catamaran past that exact pier and I was like, oh, that's where the glasses are. <laughs> so I tend not to buy expensive sunglasses. I think these were just under 10 euros. anything I need, um, if there's anything that has a kind of warranty on it. So I will keep my parking receipt for a little while just in case I get a ticket to say I haven't paid parking and I can prove I have. Um, but after a couple of months then I'll just shred it. The only other thing on this side is my glasses. I have three pairs of glasses, all pretty much identical. Like, well I say pretty much they are, the only difference is one of them is thinner on the side, they're the exact same style of glasses. They're the ones that suit me best and they're also fortunately the cheapest that are in Specsavers. I tried with so many so many expensive pairs of like designer ones and the ones that suited my face the best were the cheapest. <laughs> so I just went and got three so I can have them dotted around. Because the last thing I want to do is go to work and I've left my glasses at home. I don't really need them. Like, they're just, they sharpen things up so I could go to work and not have them, um, but I'd just be kind of squinting a little bit, which will give me a headache. So I prefer to have them on. In the little front pocket is my purse and And this is my purse, or if you're in the United States, my wallet. This is a purse. Um, I used to have a proper purse that I could fit cash, coins, photos, all my cards in, and I just found it a little bit cumbersome. I started to go to the shops and not take my purse because I didn't want to take a bag. If you take a bag to the shops, you've got to put it in a trolley and you can't leave your trolley because your bag's in it or you've got to wear it and I just thought, what is the point in taking my entire bag? So I stopped taking my bag. Then my purse was too big. So I stopped taking my purse and now I just take this. Or I will just take one card. So I'm not going to show you what's in here. It's all my cards, but for example, 
the front I've got a Tesco little voucher in there then I've got um, my business cards bank cards credit cards driver's license you know my my boots advantage card um, a PC world it's like a gift card I return something and they put the remaining money on that loyalty cards for beauty salons um, and then stamps at the back I've got some some stamps there so when I go to the shops I will either just take this whole thing or I'll take one card out put that card in my pocket so when I go food shopping for instance I will take one card to pay and I will take my phone and on my phone I will have my shopping list and then obviously my car key in my pocket and that means I can just whiz in go up and down the aisles I don't have to think about not leaving my trolley because I don't have a bag in it and it's just made my life so much easier there's no need to have this massive purse full of stuff now the reason I've managed to go to something so small is because I use an app called store card um, and basically it, I need to stop saying basically it stores all of your cards it has pre, pre-made spaces so it will know like Matalan or Subway so it makes it easy for you to put your cards in but that's where all my cards are that app's on my phone so if I buy something from Subway I can click it, scan it um, and then that means I don't have to carry all the store cards around with me the only one that doesn't work is Boots because Boots requires you to use the chip in your card for some very awkward reason you can't even type the number in so that's the only reason I still carry my Boots card around with me in the centre of my bag we have my walking pharmacy a little spritz of something if I want to freshen up a fresh cotton handkerchief used to be something ridiculous like seven pound which I thought was so expensive for a body spray and then one day they reduced them to a pound each so I bought up all of them I think I must have bought eight bottles it's just such a lovely fresh smell so I think I bought everything that was left and it's called white lace Who doesn't want to smell like muddy grass? But yeah, that's just nice just to spray on myself. In my first Zoeva bag, Mints, just sugar free mints. 
also have one Two packets of chewing gum, both opened, and I like the extra cool breeze. A bag. Tea bags. Um, if you don't know by now, I'm very fussy on my tea bags. I like PG Tips decaf. That's what I drink. I'll drink Yorkshire as well, but I cannot, oh, I just cannot stand a Typhoon or Tetley. And when you go to someone's house and I know some of my friends drink Tetley, I'm just like, here's my bag. Um, so yeah, I carry tea bags around with me. And then the last thing is just some mints, some extra strong mints. So I'm very into my mints, apparently. Tea and mints is what is in that bag. I do need to top up my tea though. It's because I'm running out. Not that I really need to because at the moment we're not going out anywhere. We're not going to visit anybody so I think this can probably wait. What is not in here? <laughs> so, in here we have, I'm just gonna have to pull out from the top because there's just so much in here. We have um, antacids because last November I started getting very regular heartburn that stopped recently. Sorry, I'm just having a few technical issues. I'm having an absolute nightmare. <laughs> um, yeah, so my heartburn has stopped, but I know to carry these around with me all times, just in case it comes back one day. Um, then I have some backup normal tissues. There's not many in there. These are usually if somebody needs a tissue. Paracetamol. Carry these with me always. Ten hand cleansing wipes. These are great. Um, all the time I like to use these if I'm going on a flight, if I am, um, you know, Usually if I'm going to the shops, I will wear gloves anyway during the winter just because I have a habit of picking up bugs. But sometimes if it's a dirty trolley, I will use these just to give the handle a wipe down or whatever I need to wipe. Hand sanitizer. A pair of laser light earbuds. Now these are really good earplugs. So because I work in entertainment sometimes I am um, a gig that has very loud music and they are brilliant for just popping them in my ears. I can still work, I can still hear, but it takes like the edge of the music. Blasters, because I'm very clumsy. Two nail files. One. I've just ruined one in my um, my nail case, so just a nail file, just in case I snag a nail and it annoys the life out of me. It's good just to quickly file it down. Uh, a little brush. There's so much in 
in here mouth ulcer cream I keep this in here because I like to have it if I'm out and about if I've got an ulcer and it's bothering me and then if I'm in the house I know it's in here ibuprofen so paracetamol are the painkillers and then ibuprofen is for inflammation more ibuprofen uh, eye drops just in case I get something in my eye one lip balm Carmex I really like these but I've started to dislike the pots I dislike having to poke my finger in a pot especially if I've got long nails another lip balm but this one is just like a lipsticky what's that called that thing I don't know twisty a twisty lip balm this is just a, a boots original no flavor another hair bubble small mirror in case I need to see what is in my eye <laughs> hand cream now that's gonna go in my bedside table because I've just used all my hand cream there and I do have a little pot of hand cream here there's not much so what I'm going to do is Going to squeeze some hand cream in there. So I've got a little pot of hand cream in, and then that can go. In my bedside table, I like to put hand cream on before bed. My hands get very dry during the day. And I like to really lather it on at night so it gets a chance to soak it all up. Paracetamol. Travel sick tablets. These are a must with me on every holiday. I um, suffer terribly from nausea when I'm travelling on buses or planes. Boards. So I always carry these around with me. Another plaster. A tablet, I'm not sure what it is. If I don't know what it is, I'll take it out. A bit of concealer. Just in case I have a massive spot on my face and I need to just conceal it. More chewing gum. I don't need three lots of chewing gum, so I'm going to take that out. And then, this. Now this was a little thing in a Christmas box I got with hand cream and stuff. And it's a roller. You just roll it on. doesn't smell that nice. It's a Bayless and Harding. It's not that nice. I'm going to take that out. Oh, you've had my stomach. And then that is everything. And that is where the pen exploded. So that's why some of my stuff is blue. Like this is a little bit blue because it's been rubbing up against my bag with all the ink on I know I could put 
probably do without some of this but to be honest it doesn't really take that much space up I'd probably still take this bag with me it would just be a little slimmer and I quite like having all of this so bubbles in case anyone needs a bubble or a hair clip. I know they are in my bag. room to slide. Oh, there it is. I can show you. So this is my crochet bag. It's full of three balls of wool, a couple of projects and a book there. And I take this with me because sometimes on a comedy show I've got a little opportunity to do some. This fits perfectly. and all of my other bits so I would oh, have I not pulled off? Oh, I usually pull the plastic off I just saw that get that off it's better oh it's on the other side as well I didn't know So that is an updated What's in My Bag 2020. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all in my next video. Take care.